Good morning and win today, people of grace. Win today, win forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, keep on winning because you are the anointed child of God. You are blessed and you are linked up with God. Holy Spirit and God lives in you. May God continue to protect you, people of grace, from all the harm of principalities that they don't get tired. Every day they just plan to kill, steal and destroy the children of God. They plan every minute because of their father Satan, who is a killer, who is a deceiver, who is a liar, who has been a evil person from long time ago. So may Father God continue to protect you from this wicked evil man. Be blessed. You are welcome, people of grace. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit and the Word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to welcome you. Spirit of the living God, you are still your way. You are still Adonai, Yeshua Mashiach. We welcome you. Come and take control where we are sitting, what we are doing. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us from the hand of the wicked enemy, wicked demons and Satan and his agents. Thank you, Jesus, for overcoming, for giving even our spirit to overcome. When darkness come, devil and his agent, Satan, we overcome because of your protection, love, and grace. Thank you, Jesus. We are alive because of your love and grace. Thank you for protecting us and our families. Thank you for exposing Satan and all these wicked, evil plans. You are worthy to be praised. This day is a day that you have made, Lord. We are rejoicing on it. And Father, make our heart to connect with you. When we listen to the word, for the word needs to be read to feed our spirits. For we know that our spirits that live inside us is always hungry for the food. And the food is your word. We love you, Holy Spirit. Give us urge to read the word and to meditate in order to feed our spirit. We love you, Holy Father. As we read, Lord, be with us. And Father, Release calmness in our heart and come and take control. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. You are welcome, beautiful people of grace, anointed children of God. You are welcome. You are linked up with God, seeds of Abraham. Descendant of Jacob, you will continue to win. You are a child of God. You have been chosen to be his ship. So, your father loves you. We are reading the book of John 10. We will prove text. Verse 10 read like this. Very truly, it was our father Jesus speaking. Very truly, I tell you. I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep ran by the gate but climbs in by some other way. It is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opened the, the gate for him and the sheep Listen to his voice. He called his own sheep by the name and led them out. Mm. That is from this one, two, three. Our Father Jesus is telling us that we are his sheep. We are his sheep. And his sheep knows his voice. When he opened the gate, 
he call his own when he call his own sheep by the name and lead them out because a sheep knows him who are the sheep it's me and you who taught you people of grace the voice of god unless if the sheep is not waking inside you it's not waking in your life it's not controlling your life but when the shepherd is controlling the life, the sheep will always know the voice of his owner. It's like a part. Cherubim knows my voice. When I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking. And it's inside the cage. If he didn't see me, he'll start to squeal. He said, I call boy hello a hundred times so that I must give him attention or he'll start to sing for me. Because Cherubim knows my voice. Same as a sheep, you as children of God. No one taught you the voice of your Father and the Holy Spirit. But you will know that that voice that unique echoed voice, very heavy. This one is from my father. Because you know your father, because that voice is inside your heart, because that spirit is living inside your heart. This is what Daddy is telling us, Daddy Jesus. Then we read uh, John 10 from verse 1 to 3. Now we go on with proof text. We go to verse 14. The third is. The third is. I am a good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Verse 16. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. Meaning they don't belong in the clan of this pen, this group of sheep. He said he has it also. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Who is he talking about? He's talking about the sinners, that they believe that there's God, but they always have weaknesses. They don't have time for him. They have no time to pray. They have no time to read the way. But he says, no, I will go and take them again to bring them, so that they can join one flock of mine. And become fully mine. That is the book of John 10 from verse 1 to 3. And again verse 14 to 16. He is a good shepherd. Our father. He is a good shepherd. So what we have to do is to commit to him. The more we commit to him, the more we practice to know him, the more by reading the word and to pray to him to say, Father, speak with me. I want to know your voice more and more. By doing that, even if hundred voices of Satan, that he can be sending his uh, angels, because he got his angels as demons, his demons, his agents, his demons to come and treat you and speak in your heart. But because you are a child of God, you will know, you will have a discerning spirit that this one is not from my father. I know my father's voice. So by doing that, to get it up to that standard is to pray more and more and seek his faith, his, his faith, and seek the urge 
to read more the word, to feed the spirit, and to meditate with the word so that he can speak with us. No matter when we come back tired from work, I know you are waking, over waking. But give yourself every day 20 minutes to read the word before you go to bed. If you don't do that, you'll have a problem. Because we, me and you, we are like honey. We attract the demons, witches, enemies, evil people. That's why you are always persecuted. So you have to pray more and seek him too, so that he can come and strengthen you. Because the Bible said it. When you are weak, he is strong for you. Because the Holy Spirit is praying for you and me. So we are highly blessed. Read it. Read the book of John 10. 1, 2, 3. From verse 10. Uh, look, uh, John 10. From verse 1 to 3. And you prove text. Then you go from verse 14 to verse 17. Not 16. To verse 17. And then you'll hear that your father knows you. That's why he knows even the number of your hair. He knows a lot about you. He knows before you pray what you want to ask. You are so precious. Don't even undermine yourself and doubt yourself. The way that you cough it out from your mouth, it carries power and the strong anointing. So don't ever doubt yourself and undermine yourself and looking at yourself and say, hey, I'm, I think I'm weak, so and so, Prophet, this root is strong, it's better. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get away, get rid of all the negativity that Satan is trying to put it in your doubt. You are a child of God, where now? You, you. You are unstoppable, you, you, you. When you call your father Jesus, heaven shook. Yes, when you went deep waters, he ran, he ride on the cherub and the seraphim, according to the book of Psalm 18, to come and lift you up. Because of his anger, he even breathed a hot coal. It go fall down. Coal and thunder and hailstone. Because he get angered when you are tormented. When deep waters want to swallow you. Therefore, you cannot doubt yourself. What you have to pray is to ask God for, you ask God for the strength and to give you power and anointing to overcome these challenges because you know and you believe that he exists and he lives in you and he keep you going and you shall not die. Whether hundred disease or what, he just want to to glorify his name because your name will be glorified because he will remove it. Every disease to all the children of God who are sick and facing challenges. Don't ever doubt him. He wants you to glorify his name. The day he remove it, you will never believe. You will feel like jumping on top of the roof and scream because he is God. I mean, he is Jesus. Yes, he is Abba Father, the Holy Spirit that lives in you. He is Yeshua Mashiach. He is still the Adonai that loves you dearly. Yes, you are welcome. Let's pray. It is true Thursday. It's time for prayer. Yes, just open your heart. And ask God oh, to forgive all what you have done. Just renounce while you are asking him for forgiveness. Renounce. Say, Lord, I renounce lies. I renounce exaggerations. I renounce hatred. Satan is the one child of God putting those things. Don't feel even embarrassed. We all live like that. I renounce witchcraft initiation that when I'm sleeping because my grandfather or mother was 
Sangoma, it's now she come in my dreams to initiate me every day. I renounce you. You shall never initiate me. And I renounce all the wicked, evil, jealous heart that is busy pushing me to do things that I don't want. Go on, renounce, children of God. Tell them, no, you have overstayed. Now it's your time to leave me and my heart. I renounce you jealous. I renounce you murmuring. Enough of you. I'm tired to mama always. You push me to complain a lot. To mama a lot. To check other people's mistakes. I renounce you. Go away. I don't want you. Henceforth you shall never stay in my heart. My heart is linked up with God and the Holy Spirit. Renounce it, Father, the habits that I'm having to entertain gossips. I renounce it. Father, let me speak when you want me to speak. Tie my tongue. Tear my tongue every morning, every day. Father, let it be you directing me when to speak and when to answer. Renounce it. Come on, children of God. Renounce it before so that Father God can hear your prayers. Renounce every weaknesses to shout and make noise to the children and your husband. Renounce it. Say it. I renounce you, spirits, that you don't want peace in my house. You don't want peace in my office. You make me to hate people. I renounce you, spirit of hatred. Devil works like that. He likes to torture the children of God by entering small, 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 evil, wicked ways until he's clapping when he fills the heart of a child of God, until he's drawing, whereas doing that is drawing closer, pulling closer a child of God in order to take over the life of a child of God and own it. Resist him, he shall flee. In Jesus' mighty name, Father God, as we renounce, I renounce my weaknesses. Renounce, Father, where you see that now I mama or talk a lot. Father, tie my tongue. Let it be you speaking, not me. Control me, Holy Spirit. Link me with your spirit, O oh, Holy Father. Link me with you, only you, my God. I renounce every wickedness of idol spirits. I renounce every satanic evil, evil spirit that want to take over my family and my life. I renounce it in Jesus' mighty name. Come take control. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are praying. Open your heart, believe, and trust in him. Look on the cross. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, we thank you, Ebenezer, Spirit of the living God. Here are your children, O Holy Father, Lion of the tribe of Judah. O Lord, fill them, O Lord. While you fill them, bless them, O Lord. While you bless them, Lord, Lord, give me to give them strength to overcome challenges, O Holy Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Ghost, fall upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fall upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, move. Move all over their body, fluid system. While you purge out your poison. Thank you, Jesus. Purge out, Lord. Holy Father, the poison that they were fed when they are sleeping. Because of idol spirit. Father, the poison. That, Father, they trample upon, Lord, through traps. Holy Ghost, move and uproot all the satanic. Evil poison in their body flu system. Bears are moving in their bloodstream. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Holy Ghost, search and burn up root. Holy Ghost, have come down, search and burn up root. Scan and disconnect, Father Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Scan and uproot and disconnect in their body flu system, Lord. Any child of God, Lord, that is connected, a life or his life, connected to the satanic, 
satanic kingdom. My Father, my Lord, satanic archives. Yes, Lord, demonic archives, oh Lord Jesus. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Out you darkness, out you linkage, out you connection, out you grips of darkness demons from the pit of hell, from the satanic world connected to the child of God. Holy Ghost, fire, come out, out you darkness. Be broken, you grip. Lose your grip, you darkness, you evil forces. Connected to the body of a child of God. Who's listening now? Come out and release them, Holy Ghost, fire. Fire in the kingdom of darkness connected to the child of God. Fire to the kingdom of demonic world connected to the children of God. Receive the Holy Ghost, you kingdom. Burn, Holy Ghost, search and destroy. Holy Ghost, release your children, O oh Lord. Holy Ghost, free your children. Let every darkness and yokes and linkage be broken by the power of the Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire, come out. Out in the future, come out. Out in that destiny, you shall never control them henceforth. Out, you initiation of darkness. A child of God is tired. She, he doesn't know how to come out. But because of the power of the ghost, because of the thing of God, I release these children of God. Come out from that cage of darkness, Holy Ghost fire. Come out from the damn demonic world. I break and release them by the power of the ghost. I break and release them because of those evil cages, those bondages. Come out, you darkness, you bound them. Release the children of God, you contrary spirit. Out in their lives, their destiny, their future. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of stealing their finances. And you put their finances in the kingdom of darkness. And you militate in that finances, you satanic kingdom. You connect and send snakes to steal their finances. They don't know where their finances is going. Because you are the spirit of stealing. Cast the fire of the ghost. Fire. I break that connection to the finances. You connect to steal the finances. Holy Ghost, fire, I burn that link. Release their finances. Holy Ghost, fire, I destroy your plan. You spirit of stealing. You steal even their anointing. You replace it with your wicked, evil heart. Fire in the heart. Fire every wicked way that you did in the heart. Come out and all your poison. Be flushed out and release the children of God. I release all the anointing, restoration. Because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who conquered the cross. I release everything that you stole from the children of God. You Satan. You demons of Satan. Come out in their lives. Out from their lives. Whatever you did to make them miserable. Whatever they try, it doesn't work. Work. Whatever. When they try to look for a job, blocked. When they got finances, it, it, it just missed. You send snakes to take their monies even from the bank. You are darkness. We close it. I close the account with the blood and the fire of the ghost. No finances shall ever melt. No finances shall ever miss. No finances shall melt in their bank accounts. The fire of the ghost and the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I soak their finances. I soak their breakthrough. Release the children of God. I send the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to work and change in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of agent of darkness. Planning. 
to torment the children of God using their items. Every day, they do enchantment and their wicked altars, wicked archives of darkness to connect the children of God, even to cast and come and take over their lives. It ends here. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of resurrection, by the power in the word of God and the sword of the Spirit, I break and loose, I release them. Get out. I possess and take everything that you are using from your archives to torment the children of God. Any item of a child of God that is listening now, that was possessed by darkness and demons, that went missing, whether it's clothing, whether it's documents, whatever item, that were taken even photos and placed in the kingdom of darkness by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, I destroy them. By the power of the Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire, as I'm burning, I burn the link. I destroy the connection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release more fire in those continents, those altars. I release more fire where they connect the children of God. I break and loose. I release them. In the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By the power of resurrection, the power that parted the sea, I break and disconnect those linkage. The items that they bound the children of God and the kingdom of darkness in the wicked altars and archives. Receive the fire of the ghost. I can be possessed back to your owners. Item of the children of God, locate your owners. What are you doing to the kingdom of darkness? The glory of the child of God and all the stars. What are you doing in the kingdom of darkness? Be retrieved by the power of the ghost. Holy ghost fire. Holy ghost come down. Holy ghost thunder missile of fire of heaven. Search and locate the items of the children of God. Search and restore them back to their owners. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I can see all your items coming back to you. I can see you having dreams of dreams. Taking back one. That you were, it was stolen from you. Whatever that they were linking you with, I can see you possessing in the dreams. Receive power to overcome and possess your items. Receive power to locate whatever went missing in your life. Receive anointing from heaven to go and possess it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fall down your power, Lord. Feel your children that are listening, O Holy Father, to go and possess whatever was stolen by the enemy, by the demons, by Satan. My Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, release power unto your sheep. Release power into a ship. Release power into a ship to overcome in the other kingdom, to go and possess. Possess, start to possess, child of God. Say, yes, I possess. Say it, child of God. Say, yes, I am possessing. Possess it. Possess it for the God. I take all my diplomas. I take my certificate. I take my health. That way in the kingdom of darkness, through the blood that they draw when I was sleeping. Possess it. Take it. All your fluid, your system, all your organs that are on pain, possess it from the kingdom of darkness. Take it back, authority you have been given. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is alive. He didn't die, he's still alive. Therefore, receive the anointing and power. 
possess your life, possess your health, possess everything that way you lost when you didn't know where it left. Your ID document located with your power, your certificate, your qualification. Take it back, possess it. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, power of the goals, and the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I can see power descending, ascending, ascending to you. Then descending, sorry, child of God, descending to come and assist you. I can see the power of the Holy Ghost descending to talk control, to give you strength to possess your possession. Possess it. Move around and possess. Take whatever the enemy has hidden and the kingdom of darkness. Power upon your children, Lord. Power upon your children, Lord. Glory move. Move to your children. Move to your shepherds. In the houses, in their rooms. For the Lord, as we know, demons and Satan operate more in the kitchens where there's water and bathrooms. In their bedrooms, Lord, give them the eyes to see. I pray even for the hard rooms. No hand of the enemy shall come and steal again. Power of the Holy Ghost. Father, lift them up to trample upon the enemy's scorpions. Let them remain below. Lift your children high. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Fall down upon your children. Power of the ghost. Let them possess. They have to possess. Even their lives, their children's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Away with your manipulation. From the kingdom of darkness. Away with your spiritual husbands, spiritual wives. Coming your spiritual wives. To demand the marriages. The partners of the children of God. Spiritual wives. Who gave you the right. Now by the power of the ghost, descend the hand and the finger of God. Release the thunderbolts of the fire of the ghost. Holy Ghost, fire, get out, you spiritual husband. Carry your Lord and your, you spiritual wives. Holy Ghost, fire, you are the marriage wrecker. Get out and release the children of God. Spiritual husband, my children, the people of grace, receive the power. To overcome spiritual husbands, spiritual wives. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, whatever they're busy doing every day. To demand the children of God. To claim and say we own them. I break the legal rights. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be disconnected by the power of the Holy Ghost. My Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. If any one of the child of God is still connected to the kingdom of darkness through the items, Lord, through anything, anything that they own, my Father, my Lord, I break the linkage. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, be broken, come out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, release them, come out. Any child of God who is still connected to the wicked altars of enemies and witchcraft where they curse him or her, where they roll the name and curse it and place it in the altars, the fire that goes. What goes destroy and locate the children of God wherever they place their names in those wicked altars. Locate my Jesus. Locate their names. Locate them. Give them freedom. Locate their items. Locate everything about them. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fire set and burn. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Fire the enemy. That is basic. Destroying the children of God. Holy Ghost, fire, destroy them. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, break it loose. I break it loose. I release the children of God. Let them be light wherever they go. Father, while you retain all their stolen items, my Father, give them power, their eyes to be open, to see where the item is. My Father, give them strength and the angels to go and possess everything. My Father, because their life is doomed because of their item, let them possess it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whether it's their marriages that is in the kingdom of darkness, whether it's their finances, whether it's their kidneys, their heart, 
that is beating in the kingdom of Satan. Father, restore everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, heaven God, all the house that is full of the body parts. Restore everything. There are body parts that is not functioning. Start to function because of the power of God, because of resurrection power. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Father, I flush every wicked poison that was deposited in our body fluces. Be washed out, you evil pollution, evil roots. Be roasted. Release the children of God. Let there be light in their lives. Father, direct them where they touch, where they walk. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Receive more on the anointing, more power to overcome this darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are free, children of God. Your items are returned. I can see them being returned. Those that were stolen. Repeat this prayer throughout the coming days so that you can possess whatever is stolen. Every trouble comes from your stolen goods. And I, by the power of the ghost, my father, I break that eye, that mirror, that evil waters that are monitoring them. After they stole their goods, they monitor those, them through those items. In order to frustrate their lives, I send the blood and the father goes. I destroy those monitoring eyes. Evil pots, silver bowls, mirrors, evil gadget, be broken and be total destroyed by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your power and authority. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we adore you. Thank you for freedom. I can see them being free. I can see you receiving your freedom. Just believe and repeat it. That I believe, God, and I possess my possession. May the power of God fill you. Authority to overcome enemies and Satan and his agent. In Jesus' mighty name. May the wicked hand that curse you and the mouth be paralyzed and be thrown in the cage of the pit of hell and be caged. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. You are free, child of God. May God bless you. Bless you wherever you walk, wherever you touch. Let there be light in whatever you do. The light of God to control you. The light of God to lead you. The light of God to destroy darkness. Let there be light all over your houses, your bedrooms, the ceiling, where you walk, the foundation, the gate, the street, and your office, and your internet, your emails from work, the chair in your office, the desk, the light of God to shine upon you and destroy darkness. Shalom. May God bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. You are highly favored. You are a precious child of God. You have been blessed. You have been needed and known before you were known by anyone. For the God chose you and lift you high. You belong to be above. And all your enemies and wicked evil people belong to be below. Continue to crush them. Yes, I change your heart, your hands, and your eyes, your legs, your feet, your feet and your hands. Let it become the battle axe of fire. Where you walk, crush them. Where you touch the spirit, let them be crushed off by the power of the ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. Love you. Mama Ruti, love you. Let's continue to sail in the, this ship and knowing that we shall reap in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom.